Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Uh, let's crack into another one. All right, TNT, what you got for me today? Yo, all right. So we're not going to bury the lead. The name of this episode is How to Live Forever. Jonas, how do you live forever? The key is to not die. <laughs> I mean, good point. All right. All right. That's how Solved. you do it. Um, just recently, I I, uh, I came across a guy named Brian Johnson, Jonas. Very common name. Yeah. Familiar with this guy at all? No. Not at all. I wouldn't expect you to be. How about this? Are you familiar with the guy who said that he now has the penis of an 18-year-old? You remember <laughs> that guy? I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, you know, it kind of made I mean, a blip. It looks like we're reading different articles. <laughs> it, made, it made a little bit of, of a blip on the radar. But uh, let's just say is that this guy is a multi-millionaire, like hundreds of millions, venture capitalist type of guy. But he came up with an idea of how to not die. <laughs> and how do you do that? Don't die? How do you not die? <laughs> All right. So we got to start out with this. Jonas, do you want to live tomorrow? Yes. You know, most people want to live tomorrow. Yeah. Ask me. It depends on the day. I'm live joking. I'm not. I'm not going dark. Okay. That's, yes, that's I do true. want. I, I, I do yeah. want to live tomorrow. So, living tomorrow is equivalent to wanting to live forever, because every time that you want to live to see tomorrow, you're saying. You know what's really funny? You said that. that. You ahead. know what's really funny? I've I've definitely thought in the last two months about getting "Don't Die" tattooed on my wrist. That's actually pretty good. Like, just simply, like, right on my wrist, right by my hand, just says, don't die. Just real small, like, just, like, an inch. Just don't die. That's I it. love that. So every time I'm driving in the car, or like, whatever, it's just a reminder, don't die. I love that. <laughs> I also picture that being something on your wrist uh, when you're, like, you know, like, 90 years old and you're DNR. Still, <laughs> still, still. And they're like, are you sure he's a DNR? It literally says. It literally got tattooed, don't die on his arm. It literally says he doesn't want that to happen. That's very funny. So, yeah, wanting tomorrow is essentially the same as wanting to live forever. Yeah, because, because every day you want tomorrow. So, how do we accomplish that? What if there it's were. Impossible. It is impossible. What if there was an algorithm? What if there was an algorithm, a set of things that you could do? That could prolong your life almost almost indefinitely. I mean, I think it would make someone a lot of money if they could figure that out. Okay. So what if this algorithm did exist? Okay. And I'm listening. The only thing that you had to do was everything that it said. I mean, it depends what it's doing, because it like it like if you live forever, but like all you're doing is like running in circles all day. They figure out somehow put running in circles all day will let you live forever. I don't want to run in circles in perpetuity. In perpetuity this to algorithm promises promises you, God dang it, it promises you peak physical, mental, and spiritual health. Sounds like a snake oil salesman. It does sound like that, but what if I said that something like this might exist? It sounds like you're trying to sell me a timeshare. I'm not asking you to be skeptic. I'm asking you, if, this I mean, exists, yeah, if, if that are exists, you going to take it? Potentially. All right. I can't say yes or no. It depends what it is. You lose your freedom of, of will. So uh, essentially, if the algorithm tells you this is what you have to eat, this is what you have to eat. If it says this is what you have to work out, this is when you have to work out. If it says this is when you have to meditate, this is when you have to meditate. Okay. If this is the way you need to walk... Etc. Etc. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work to live forever. It, and then you don't. What do, you, do you get time for fun? Like when's time okay. for fun? Okay, so yeah, this is where this is where honestly this is where this talk goes. Now this is a, this is a speaking point that Brian Johnson brought on. This could take hours. We're gonna kind of just like crash course it. But this is this is the right response. This is what I wanted from you to hear. When when is time for fun? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So obviously we value that autonomy. We value the ability to make decisions. I want to eat cake sometimes. I want to order pizza. I want to eat a taco. I want to lay on the couch all day. Yeah. I so want to. Yeah. So now we already know is that eating this shit is not good for us. We know that smoking isn't good. Oh yeah, for it's us. the same reason people drink every day or eat Taco Bell every day or Thank you me. know don't do anything. Do don't ever exercise. Everyone knows if you exercise, you're gonna live longer. And people, tons of people don't ever do any physical activity ever yeah. by choice. Yeah. They smoke. 
cigarettes. They yeah. smoke. They know that will shorten your life. They drink. They know that that does this. They do, they do things that they know that, and people do it anyway. So the next question is, Jonas, imagine we are 2,000 years into the future. Okay. You are an anthropologist, and you're looking at the remains of a city from 2024. Okay. What do these people value? What is important to them? Material items. Material items. Their these, health is not important to these them. People are, these people are smoking. They're drinking. All of these things in 2,000 years, we're going to know that they're, they're poisons. I mean, we've known that for a long time, but yeah, still. And yeah. essentially, it, it is doing nothing more than stunting the growth of humanity more than anything else, right? I would have said, yeah, absolutely. Do you feel like in 2,000 years that the algorithm that or the set of the set of principles or, or rules for a person's life that could prolong it? You think they'd be more socially ad ad adopted? No, because people are going to people. I'm Humans have been you, doing shit that they not going for them for the, forever. I'm going to tell you like this, Jonas. Smoking was legal or smoking has been legal in this country for forever. Um, back in the 50s, people used to smoke all the time. Now, not well, so Well, they didn't much. know how bad it was for you back then. So what makes you think that in 2,000 years, we don't know how bad it was People for us People have been drinking then. forever, and they know how bad it is for Jonas, them. forever is your lifetime. We're talking 2,000 years in the future. We're not talking your lifetime. But people have been drinking for 2,000 years. People have been years. smoking in your lifetime. Yeah. But, but yet you've seen a decline. But you ain't seen a decline in drinking. <laughs> We ain't 2,000 years in the future. But you make a valid point. We're in 2024, so people who were Jesus was drinking wine. <laughs> and they still drinking today. That's true. Maybe they would find a, a, an alcohol that was less damaging to uh, to people. Um, I don't know. At least to the liver. Yeah, but if anyway. we look, but if we look at our history, general, generally we find those things that are bad for us through research, through... Uh, through uh through different through different means. Yeah, and eventually they start weeding themselves out. But people have ever replaced smoking with vaping and in a hundred years they're gonna be like, Oh yeah, vaping was worse for you than tobacco. Yeah, and usually it takes like a, an innovation, an an idea that comes out of out of the ether, uh to to Are you uh, wrapping this around aliens? No, it's not actually around okay. aliens. There's no aliens there. Um but there is the idea of a zero ith theory. Now, a zeroist theory is kind of uh, based on the idea of when the zero was invented, how it broke math, mathematics, how, uh, what do you call that, astronomy. Because if you think about like Roman numerals, there's no Roman numeral for zero. There's no right. Roman numeral and zero for, breaks every mathematic formula. And then even when you start getting into like 20s and 30s, you know, you just have like symbols, but there's no It's zero. the absence of everything because exactly. it's like zero times anything is zero. Exactly. Like you can't divide, you can't divide things by zero because it doesn't exist. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So zero is one of those things that kind of like changes the way humanity thinks. Um, what's another thing? I would say is that uh, finding out that spoiled food could be beneficial spoiled food becomes alcohol spoiled food becomes penicillin these ideals tapping into these these are kind of like zero zero with abilities right right you know uh and the thing is is that your your brain is capable of coming up with these but it's also capable of killing yourself your brain tells you that you need to eat the pizza. The brain tells you that you need to that you need to drink the beer. It tells you need to smoke the cigarette. I this is this is way longer than I thought it was gonna be. I have so much more to go on. We can go part two. Tomorrow. We might we might have to. We might have to. <laughs> we might have to. But when you think of these zero abilities, you you wonder kind of how mankind can come up with some of these things. Um I should have wrote down some more examples because I can't really think of any right now, but give me one second and I will have some. Uh, what is another zeroth ability, Jones? Give me give me something that changed. Don't, them. don't ask me. So, so the invention of flight, like uh, the Wright brothers, is a, the invention of the wheel, uh, fire. Okay. Learning that cooked yeah, these food. Things that, yeah, the, the cotton gin. Exactly. Like, yeah. The so the same brain that could come up with these things that can innovate and prolong human life is also trying to kill you. 
Your brain literally tells you, I'll start dieting tomorrow. I'll start working out tomorrow. Yeah, because we want the dopamine hit, too. (laughs) In 2,000 years, notice we're going to have an ability for those dopamine hits to be injected into our brain. Ayahuasca. Oh, I've heard about that. There's literally a frog right now that carries uh, psilocybin in it, right? What do you call these? Like these poisonous frogs? You oh. smack it across the windshield, you lick it? I've never heard about that. Is the frog walking that- around high all the time? I don't know. Maybe. We don't know. I don't know. <laughs> are we Are we going into part two tomorrow? Is that what we're doing? Uh, I mean, we definitely could. We all definitely right. could. All right. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll get you part two. So that's all the time we have for this part. Tune in tomorrow. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. We're going to learn how to live forever. I'm telling you right now, it sounds like I'm off on some tangents. It's coming together. I wonder where you're coming together. It's coming together. All right. Well, we'll uh, talk more about tomorrow. We are for Jonas. TNT. Uh, We're out for now.